So my daughter's oh. going to help me do the look at an unboxing on the shop Roku TV HD 24 inch one. This is pretty cool because um, I have an idea on how to use this and I want to see if it works. It was on special on one of the daily deals so I purchased it. 24 inches is amazing. I remember it took three of us to carry our my Sony Bravia 25 inch TV from the showroom. I bought the floor model to the van and it took three of us to carry it. It's just amazing how I can just, my daughter can actually lift this. So we've come a long way and the quality is like so much better now. So this is one side of the box. What I like about the Roku application built into the TVs is that they actually update and install new apps or you could actually install through the Roku I don't know if it's the same one as let's say when you get the Roku TV act, actual device. I don't know if it's the same app store that they have, but this allows you through the app to install different channels and uninstall different channels, which is pretty cool. Plus these things allow you to choose between uh, the HDMIs. So it's all done smartly. You don't have to, you just click on it and click out of it and you don't have to uh, pick and choose different And what inputs. you are on is YouTube. YouTube. My daughter's favorite. So my favorite's Roblox. Oh, Roblox. Um, so let me... This is the... Ta. This is the model number. This is the model number. Okay, let's open it up. So the usual items are in here. So can you hold this for me? Yes. Yeah, sure. Set it off. Let me fix the tape. Let me lift this up. This is the stand. I probably will not be using this. And uh, the remote, batteries, power plug, and paper one. Uh -oh. I ripped that one. <gasps> I ripped it again. The TV is fragile. Read this first. It is it fragile. Will will so watch this. This is a 24 inch. One inch smaller than my other one. I'm lifting it with one hand. It is amazing. Nothing else inside the box. This is everything that comes inside the box. The TV. The paperwork. The cable, the Roku, the remote, Roku remote, batteries, AAA, two, and the stand. Like I said, I'm probably not using the stand. I have an idea for this, and I'm hoping it works. So let's just look at the actual TV itself. This is the bottom. So this is going to be the on and off controller and the RF signal receiver, I believe. I believe those are speaker speakers. What was that? There went, oh. <laughs> That's where you put the stand in. Another speaker. Oh, um, Let me put wait. this up since I don't. I got the stand. No, I'll leave that there for now. Um, on the side of it is the power plug and the USB. No, no, leave that there. Leave that alone. <laughs> So like I was saying, power, USB, and that should be the reset. Is that the aux or the reset? Okay, there we go. The audio out, USB, digital out, and the input. This is going to be the top of the TV. 
nothing really there. And then on the side, what is that there? That is going to have the model number, the serial number, okay? And then we can see the rest of the port. So it's uh, gonna be a headphone, three HDMIs, composite or RCA, the cable, and there's the reset button. That'll reset everything so that it's a factory default so I can forget all your logins and you don't sell the TV with all your information on it. Or give away the TV with the all the information. This is the back, Best Buy Recycle. And then, um. What does it say? That's to recycle, right? Oh, look at that. You can use it. You can use it again. No, recycle so that when you throw it away, you can, uh, it has the four holes for the uh, mounting it on the wall with a regular mount. Okay. It, but if you want to like place it on your TV, if you want to place it like in a, like in a room, in a room, so let's put the batteries in. Okay. Just a remote up close. It's nice. Regular Roku remote works very well. Already assigned buttons. Uh, power cable. Let me just see how long it is. Uh, uh, under five feet. Just under five feet. And these are the screws for the base. Which hopefully I hopefully I won't be using. I'm hoping I won't. So this is my idea. I want to take this. This is a tripod table, usually a computer one, but I also want to put a piece of Velcro here and Velcro it to the TV. I'm gonna stick the TV here, and I want to be able to carry the TV wherever I want. If I'm in the living room or whatever, and I want to put the TV next to the sofa. I'll be able to do that. So I'm looking to do that. And um, wish me luck to see if I can get it to, if the Velcro is strong enough to hold up the TV. I think it is, but let me see what I can do.
Yes, I am. So it worked. Um, I put the Velcro key as you can see. This is the softer cushiony part of the Velcro. It's on the metal part. This is a foam here, but this is the metal part. And then on the TV is the other uh, Velcro. That's nice and firm. And all you do is pick it up and place it onto the tripod. So I gotta tell you, I really, really like it. It's great that I can, it's sort of like my own little giant tablet, if you can see. So at a much cheaper price though. I mean, it's not touchscreen, but it's nice in size. There's no 24 inch, there's a 24 inch, correct? 24 inch tablet, so. This is pretty cool. So I could just, it just has the cord here. I could pretty much just wrap it around this way and move around as I wish. I could take it and move it wherever I want. So if I want to watch TV at that corner, I could set it up in that oh, corner yeah. and, uh, watch TV it's pretty cool and it's velcro and it's it's holding on pretty well I'm gonna oh it just fell out thank goodness I didn't it was holding well hold on okay let's try it again I didn't stick it in well so I got a a microfiber and I make sure I pressed hard against the screen not too hard just to make sure that the velcro is sticking should stick now and look at that upside down nothing it's not coming out cool there's the velcro so it's usually not going to be facing this way so there should be no issues but it's definitely staying i am very happy with this that is so cool let's turn it on and see uh What comes up? English, United States, home. The wireless Wi-Fi connection. Got an error. 
Let me see. Oh. Um, let me choose where it's located. So I named it Custom Tripod, so I can know it's that one. And uh, I gotta go through some of this stuff. So it's asking me which apps, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I can have them installed. Prime, I don't do now. DirecTV, I love this app. Uh, anything else? No. All right, let me finish this all up. It's a bunch of choices, so it's pretty explanatory. Okay, so now it's doing the channel lineup thing, and that's gonna take a while, a long while. So now it's it's almost there, it's getting there. Get to know your new Roku TV in about a minute. We'll show you how to use your remote, add channels, search for entertainment, and use the Roku mobile app. Let's start with your remote. Press home at any time to return to the home screen. Back always returns to the previous screen. And star shows additional options. For example, Highlight a channel tile and press star for channel options. Or if you're watching your favorite show, press star to reveal audio video settings. Select streaming channels from the main menu to add your favorites. Browse categories including free channels and choose the channels you want for easy access on your home screen. And all Roku devices include the Roku channel featuring free hit movies, TV shows, and live news to watch anytime. Select Featured Free from the main menu to quickly discover a selection of top movies and shows available to watch for free. Select Search from the main menu to find movies, shows, actors, or directors. You'll see a list of unbiased results ranked by price. Download the Roku mobile app for iOS and Android. Use it as a remote. Use headphones to enjoy private listening. Cast photos, videos, and music to your TV. Search for entertainment using your voice. And much more. That's it. Happy streaming. Just try YouTube itself. Let me see how fast the apps usually start pretty quick. So let me just go to the YouTube. Okay, so it's coming up. I'm gonna do use it signed out. And uh, let me just play something really quickly. So I'm searching my channel. Let me see it, if it comes up. There it goes. This is the last video I did. Let me. The remote, you have to press it really hard. Looks like, okay. Hey Dick and Chad, and the millions and billions of Gizwiz fans. I bring to you to. So it's playing, it's playing well. 
I like it. I like it very, very much. So I'm done and I like it. I'm very happy with the setup I did. So that's the actual tripod, which is uh, it's for a DJ, but I use it to put my laptop on. I even eat on it sometimes. And like I said, I put Velcro on the TV. The TV is so light and let me Velcro it to the back and it doesn't fall off. It's just Velcro. I did a video on this tripod already, so you can search the tripod name or my channel, M-T-A-N-D-I-Z, and then look up a uh, tripod or tripod desk. I believe that's what I called it. I bought it at b and H. So I like it. I really, really like it. This is the way it looks from afar. I can drag it with me anywhere. Those legs closed, everything, you know, it's a tripod, so all that closes up. So this is the tripod closed. As you can see, you can just pick it up, very easy to pick up. I'm picking it up with one hand with no issues whatsoever. So it's very simple, closed, and you can just take it with you anywhere. And you can just pick it up and bring it wherever you want or store it in the closet. It's nice. So I hope you liked the video. Thank you. Bye.